welcome everyone to this new video on django series my name is shivam and today in this video we are going to understand how we can get the current date or time values in django so without any further delay let's see the agenda of this video so in this video first we are going to understand how we can get the current date time value in django so a date time value is a value which contains both the date as well as time details after this we are going to understand how we can get only current time value in django then we will also understand how we can get the only current date value and after this we are going to understand how we can generate these current date time values in django template so let's move to the first topic so the first topic is how we can get the current date time value in django now for all the topics uh, we are going to follow a simple approach so to get a current date time or date or time value in django we are going to use this date time module and within this date time module we are going to use the date time class so for the execution we are going to use the views.py file and in that uh, file we are going to create a view in which we will uh, create a variable that fetches the current date time value using this date time class and then we will return this variable back to the template and then we will use the variable in the template and print out the current date time value so we already have a detailed article related to this topic uh, the link of that article will be available in the description box and in the article we have demonstrated multiple examples related to these topics which we are going to cover in this video so let me guide you how you can navigate to the website and use those examples so once you open the link in your browser it will open an article on how to get current time in django and in this article we have covered all the topics of this video so from the table of content let's move to the first topic which is get current date time in django now in this i have already explained how we can use this date time class and what method that we are going to use so basically we are going to use this uh, date time dot now method to get the date time value now let's understand the implementation with the help of an example so this is the code that we are going to use in the views dot py file let's copy this and i will paste the code here so here in the code you can see i have first i have imported this http response then we i have imported this date time module and after this we have after this i am creating a simple function based view the name of that view is index so in that view uh, we have created a variable and we have assigned this date time dot date time dot now method now this method will return the current date time value and the date time value will be stored in this variable uh, after this we are just formatting this variable as a string and then we are returning this whole string as a http response now we simply needs to uh, start the development server and move to the mapped url so here in this uh, urls.py file you can see i have already defined this url pattern for this index view now let's start the development server so here you can see my development server is already running so I, i will simply navigate to the url so here we got this date time value now let's move to the next topic so next topic uh, is about how we can get the current time so in this case we are talking about just time value now for this implementation we have defined two methods in this video i will only demonstrate one method which is using date time class so in the date time class we are going to use this date time dot strf time method let's see the example let's copy this example and use it so again in this example you can see first i have imported this http response class uh, then i have imported this date time class uh, and in the view i have created a variable which is referring to this uh, date time dot now dot strf time method now in this method we have to define the format so uh, here you can see uh, h represents the hours m represents minutes and s represents seconds and again we have just formatted this uh, variable in the 
string and then we are returning the string as an HTTP response. So now if I open the URL, refresh it. So the current time value, here we got the only time value. Now let's see the sec next topic. So next topic is how we can get the current date value in Django. In this case, we are only talking about date value. So again, this for this implementation, we are going to use this date time module and in the date time module, we are going to use this date dot today method. This method basically returns the current uh, date value. Let's execute this example. So after importing this uh, date time module, uh, we have assigned, uh, we have created a variable and we have assigned this uh, date time dot date dot today method to this variable. So the method will return the current date and it will be stored within the variable. So after this, we are just uh, returning the date as an HTTP response. So again, let's see the output. So once I refresh this, you can see, uh, so it has returned the date only. So now let's move to the next topic. So the next topic is how to get the current date time value in Django template. Now to uh, fetch the current date time or date or time value, uh, we have two approaches. So first one is by using the views.py file. So in the views.py file, like we have explained, we will create a variable which will uh, which basically stores the value of current date time value and then we will return this value uh, to the template and in the template we will use that variable to get the result. The second approach is by using the template tags. So in this we will create uh, simply create a view which redirects to an uh, HTML page or a template we can say. And in the template, we are going to use the template tags to get the result. Let's understand both the methods with the help of an example. So again, for this, I will navigate to the article. So from the article, we will navigate to this topic, which is get current time in Django template. Now in this section, I have explained two methods. First is by using the views file. So let's execute this example first. So in this example, first I have imported this render function. After this, I have imported this date time class from the date time module. Then I am creating a uh, function based view with name index. Uh, now in this view, uh, I am just creating a variable which stores the value of the current time. And in the end, we are just returning the render request. Now request goes to this index.html page and uh, with this we have also returning this uh, current time variable. Now we also need to add some code in this uh, index.html file. For this I will copy this code and paste it in my index.html file. So in this we have simply using this variable uh, in double curly brackets. Now let's see the result. So here you can see uh, it will return the time in formatted manner. Now let's understand the second method of using the template tag. So I will simply copy this one and paste it in my view. So in this we have simply created a, a view which returns the request to this HTML uh, index.html page. Now in this page index.html page we will uh, use some template tag to get the current time value. Now for this I will again copy this index.html page code. So here you can see we are using the tag with the name now and we have passed an parameter p with it. So this now tag basically uh, returns the uh, date time value and uh, we have to pass some parameter. So uh, in, in this case we have passed the parameter p which represents time value. If now we see this output, you can see this. Now the difference between the previous result and this result is that uh, this result is based upon UTC where the previous uh, one was based upon your system time. Now let's see the next topic. So the next topic is how we can uh, get the date in the Django template. So again, uh, we'll simply copy this example. So here we have again using the same method. Uh, we are simply getting this uh, date value from date time dot now dot date method and we are storing this value in this current underscore date uh, variable. 
and then we are returning this variable to this index.html page now in the index.html page uh, we will simply change this current date to current time to date and we will use this uh, variable current date variable here now if i refresh this uh, page you can see we got our result now let's see the next method which is by using the tags so again uh, here we have a simple view and in the index.html file uh, we will paste this example again now here you can see uh, by using this now tag we can have the date in different formats so in this example i have explained three different formats of date that we can have using the now tag let's see the output here, so here you can see we got the date uh, current date value in three different formats now let's move to the next topic so next we will understand how we can get the current date time value in django template so again for the first method we will simply create a view so in this view we are simply using this uh, date time the dot now method uh, to store the current date time value in this variable and then we are returning this variable to index.html page and now we simply need to use this variable in this index.html page to get the result so i will remove this now tag and put this current underscore date time variable now if we navigate to this url and refresh you can see this now let's see the second method by using the template tags so again we will create a simple view and we will use this stream code so in the views.pl file i will remove this and create this simple view now let's see the index.html page so by using uh, the now tag we, we can also have the date time value in different formats so in the case of date time we i have given the example related to four different formats let's see the output so here you can see we got the date time value in four different formats so with this we have come to the end of this video if you do like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe